Hey guys, Jesse here from Prepared Mind 101. Uh -oh. oh, there you are. Oh yeah, hey, what's up? So we're out here, it's very cold out, very cold. But uh, we wanted to do uh, get back to some knife reviews because everyone loves knife reviews and I really haven't done any so far this year. And this one is interesting because this knife has been through a great deal of long-term testing that we're going to talk about. And this is a semi-custom knife. We'll call this Mid-Tech. It's by a company called MT Knives. And it's called, whoops, sorry. It's called the Genesis. So not to be confused with the LT Wright Genesis. But what's interesting about this one is this is CTS XHP Steel, which you've heard me mention a lot lately because that's what cold steel is starting to use a lot of. So don't go away, and we're going to tell you all about what this knife's been through. Now, one of the things when it comes to some of these, uh, what I'll call EDC knife reviews, is there's not as much demonstration stuff with them. And I've actually got a video coming up uh, in the near future where I talk about some of the limitations of knife reviews on YouTube, where you as a viewer are looking at them, trying to make a decision based on what you see the reviewer doing. But what we did here, we got these from the guy at MT Knives back at Blade Show. That's when I first met her. So this one right here, he, he gave us three testers. And because I have so many knives, I'm like, you know what, we've got a little bit of an opportunity to do something different here. So I gave her two of them. So she's got one and her man, her man. Right, right. Yeah, he got one and he was the primary tester for this knife. So this knife has not been sharpened in six months. Yeah. And this is the this is the Cerakote coating that comes on the knife. And they they've got a couple different colors, but see if we can get that in the camera where it's showing up here. So you can kind of see the wear. And he carries this every, every post, every tell him what he's told you as far as the use and what this has gone through. So, um, Rye is, um, he's around chemicals all day long and um, he opens up bags of chemicals. He has to put them in large, huge um, tunnels of, and, and stir chemicals together where he has to actually get up on a ladder. And um, <clears throat> one of the nice things is, is it comes in this awesome sheath and he wears it around his neck all day long. Um, he's noticed that he's able to actually, with larger hands, grab onto the knife, cut the bags over top of this um, tank, and be able to hold on to it with a with a wonderful grip and its lightweight um, handle that it has. Um, he is using this around her horrible, horrible chemicals where it's put through wear and tear every day. Her, yeah, basically, he, he looks like the Toxic Avenger, so <laughs> she's with him out of pity because he's horribly scarred from all these horrible chemicals. Right. You make it sound, like, really scary. It, it, it could be. It could be. <laughs> but the thing is, is the great thing about it is this knife has gone through the durability and held up the entire time through this. And he uses it, like I said, every day. He pulls it off down from his neck and he opens the bags he's able to hold on to it grip it when the knife could easily fall into this tank and some have before that others have used um, and I can tell um, this edge it, it's still cutting sharp back here at at the back but there is a he's got a little bit of some tiny nicks in the blade which I can only imagine what what he's done to this but I could tell this this will still cut and that just kind of goes to the wearability uh, of CTS XHP alloy as a knife steel because this is kind of a new knife steel on the market people are just uh, when, when we got this that was the first time I'd actually heard of this steel 
and the reason why I'm doing this review first is because a lot of the new cold steels that I have that I have uh, reviews coming up on like like the four inch Talwar a lot of these cold steels used to be like OS 8 steel but now they're making them either out of CTS XHP or CTS uh, BD1 alloy steel so because it's kind of a newer thing a lot of people just aren't used to how this stuff holds up and I can tell you you know just by what he's done to this knife right here it holds up great now let's talk real quick about one of the biggest things I love about this knife now I have one too in pure Murphy's Law fashion we're getting ready to shoot this video and I'm looking for mine which is always around now I don't know where the hell it is so I can't show you mine but the thing that I like best about this knife as a necker the kydex sheaths that come with it are really really secure and this knife and this steel is pretty much this is featherweight this is extremely light so as I normally don't really like neckers I mean on occasion I'll wear a necker if I'm in the woods to have that extra utility hanging there but I don't like feeling things around my neck but this thing is so light I have like taken like my sweatshirt off at night and I smack myself in the face with it because I forgot that I had it on and that's probably the biggest reason if you're thinking about getting one of these as a necker that you would want to go with something like that just because it is absolutely so light now what about yours you haven't used, used yours as much but barely um <clears throat> i uh i didn't want to get the pink 30 on it now um chris put this awesome wrap around it and um it definitely adds some extra grip to it for me um it fits my hand wonderful um, but I did like how he ended up putting the extra cord around it to add some, you know, sturdiness to it if I'm outside playing around, you know, shuffling things around the house and need to use it to open up a box or something. Um, but it, it's, it's worked for all my, you know, household errand needs that I use. Um, I'm not opening <laughs> bags of chemicals or any toxic products, but um, it definitely is getting everything I need. I, like he said, the uh, lightness to it is awesome for me. Um, it's small, it's compact. I can keep it in my bag, my purse, whatever I want to do with it, so. All right, we've come to the point in the video where I was operating with some outdated information when I was shooting the video with Jesse. So let's uh, stop for a moment and do some real talk when it comes to pros and cons when it comes to this knife. Now, right off the bat, do I like this knife? Yes. Do I think the quality is there? Yes. Uh, is the heat treat, edge retention, everything's good about this knife. However, the price tag of the exact knife that I have right here, because this was given to us at Blade Show, is actually higher than what I thought it was. And I thought I was kind of pushing it at first, in, in the beginning, but it's actually even higher. Now, if you're getting the exact model that I have here, with the Kydex in the Cerakote and the CTS XHP steel. Uh, according to the website, this thing's running about $175, which is $20 less than a Jessmic. Do I expect anybody, the average person that watches my channel, to pay that for a knife like this? No, I don't. Do I think people that, and they exist, that have money burning holes in their pocket would have a problem with this? No. But here's the alternative. Now, at the time of Blade Show, it wasn't out yet, but I see now, according to the website, that it is. It does have an alternative Genesis 2, which is a completely different steel. It's a little bit more affordable. And that one is only $99. I could swallow that. I like this knife that much that I could swallow a hundred bucks. And that's real talk. That's still kind of pushing it for most people, considering how many alternatives are out there, some of which will be reviewed in the very near future. One of them I ordered today was a Topps Tebow. Cost me like 52 bucks, designed by Brian Griffin, 1095. About the same size. 
that's a lot more reasonable for a lot of people but I wanted to still go ahead and do this video because I do like the knife and because I wanted to establish that this is where my opinions up to this point came from when it comes to CTS XHP as a steel. That's what made me want to jump back on the bandwagon and buy all those new cold steel folders that are CTS XHP steel because this one has impressed me so much with the sharp, you know, how the, the sharpness retention, how it holds up and all that, it's, it's been outstanding. But the fact of the matter is, 150 bucks for a neck knife is going to be too much for most people. And $175 for a neck knife is going to be absolutely ridiculous for most people. Not all, but most. So it is what it is. Uh, sometimes we have stuff like this, but I, but we got the knives. We, we spent a lot of time testing them and putting one through extremely long-term hard use. And then after this video, you know, you saw where it was all chewed up, came back to my place. I resharpened it very easily and got it right back to where it was. And she took it home and, you know, gave it back to Rai Rai as she calls him. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that that's something everybody needs to know going in is that this is going to be a pricey knife it's not going to be for everybody and that there are a lot, a lot of alternatives out there so there's that that's it um but that that was the thing it's like you know what this is a new steel i want to do something a little bit different so normally we show things up front in this particular case i thought i've shown that knife before but i hadn't done a standalone video on it so that's why we gave one to uh, her boyfriend so he could use it over a long period of time and it's definitely i'm impressed with it so we're gonna go once we get back to uh, my house i'm gonna run it on the the belts and stuff like that bring the edge back up and show it one more time see how easily that thing cleaned up so check out the website if you're interested in it and we'll be back with some more videos here soon bye guys it's been a while <laughs>